So guys, so how much is uh, Tower of Fantasy on PS5 or PS4 console? If you're new here, like, share, subscribe to the channel. So let's check it out. It's a PS4 owner. Go to the PlayStation Store. Okay, so for you guys as well who are excited. So if it's not here, so <laughs> it's not on the front pages of Sony, so it can, couldn't afford <coughs> to be on the front. So search bar, search it, type Tower of Fantasy. Okay, just T-O. And it comes out, so you have your, okay, so it says HK $78, so you convert it to uh, US dollars use a conversion so what why the hell is it $78 I thought this game is free so op optional so release date is 8th 8th of 2023 Okay, so here is how much Tower of Fantasy is. So, we're not sure yet, okay, if it's paid or not. We'll see, but. Well, they seem to be selling some editions here. Most likely, this is like uh, $60, $100, I don't know, $200. <laughs> uh, let me get the conversion later something like that okay so you can you can get early access two days well uh, I guess uh, developers in Sony will make a lot of money from this from pre-order or pre-selling I heard it that it was this $50 here so maybe $50 $70 and $100 something like that so what you get so $50 or oh. So what you get, the game, the pass, for maybe $70, it's just an estimate, okay? I don't have the conversion here right now. I'm not good at really big map, I'm not a genius. You got a two hour early access, monthly pass, but probably the battle pass. So you can get Simulac Room Deluxe Box, so it's a selector, okay? Okay, you get a outfit and avatar. The ultimate edition, maybe ninety, hundred dollars. I don't know, eighty dollars. The yeah, other four is a hundred dollars. Okay, for uh, the better edition, whatever edition, the ultimate dark hell edition, whatever. So what? So you get. So you get a race car, mm -hmm. and a jet pack. Skin, wow, okay. So, people got a lot of money. Show me the money. For those people that have a lot of money, you get ooh, you pre order, you get fried chicken, crispy grilled fish, black nucleus weapon aug augmentation box. You play as a wanderer, Tabby Beto. 2023 standard edition so it's pretty confusing so well for those people who have no idea I guess you can get baited <laughs> or have a lot of money and have no idea think that this is a full-fledged game so we're living under a rock or under mom's basement so with mom's credit card you probably pay for this pre-order and get hyped oh new anime wife gotcha game booby boobas well depends on you if their money their money it's uh, good luck uh, more power to you uh, not my problem okay so that's it so anyway so we're not sure yet if it's free to play or not or paid or not so I'm getting out of comments, getting angry comments, thinking that, saying that it's unfair, it's not free. It's paid, it should be free, it's free on mobile. It's free on PC, why the hell not? It's not going to be free on console. So that's going to be unfair. 
So anyway, I don't get it. What's the hype of this game anyway? I thought everybody forgot about this game. No idea how they came up with the budget for the console release, but I don't know. Maybe Sony sponsored them, or maybe they they just the game is just low key and uh, not they might their their player base might not be millions, but might be enough that they got funding for this. So uh, the good news about this is that more Japanese anime gacha games or no no gacha is pretty negative. More anime free to play games are coming to the console, so that's a pretty good plus, you know. With, with Genshin, uh, Tower Fantasy, they're all free to play friendly as long as you're not competitive. It's a single player game, anyway. Even though it has, even though if the game has PvP, you know, just enjoy the story, that's it. You just enjoy building, that's it. You don't need to compete. With anyone, include yourself. That's it. In the gacha game, that's it. If you want to compete, just buy a fighting game. Just wait for Tekken 8. If I want to compete, I will just wait for Tekken 8. That's why I got a game in PC. Ready for Tekken 8. Rising Sun. So, uh, the only reason I got that because uh, by the end of... Uh, but it, it's hard to get... Uh, it's harder to get players on the console when Tekken should have been a console game, but there are more players on the PC, so it's hard to, to find matches. So, so, yeah, so that's it. So, gotta, gotta get a PC. And so, uh, we'll see, we'll see. If maybe uh, I'll stick with taking eight console but anyway oh yeah i don't i don't like paying for the ps plus so okay so i think i could be getting the pc version of taking eight so if, if one if you want to compete play fighting games uh they're a lot more balanced and a lot less pay to win than than, 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 than like tower fantasy to be pvp which is like heavy pay to win it's a gacha game what to expect it's not much skills there it's not not much mechanical skills other than dodging, using the skill at the right time. Compared to like Death Tekken, where it's a real time strategy, like collecting fast reflexes, like a fast fast strategy. So depends on you if you will if you love gacha games, if you want to wave though. But um, I'm not your father. Just saying, uh, just for the sake of content, and just for the sake of extending the video to eight minutes. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you next video. Our fantasy, unleash your wonder on PlayStation. Pre-order PlayStation.